Hi, I'm Kara Lee with Accurately Styles. I'm a Samvia ambassador and a bridal hairstylist. I specialize with on-site bridal hairstyling. Today I'm going to be showing you a really highly requested boho hairstyle and this is half up, half down. I'm gonna run through how I prep the hair really quickly, and then I'm gonna show you what curling iron I use to get my boho waves, along with doing the half up, half down style. So we're gonna go ahead and get started using our Sanvia texture iron. Start, she has thicker hair. Let's start in the center and kind of work our way to the left and to the right. I just pick up small sections and take the crimper about four fingers down. This is going to add a really nice foundation and canvas for the style. So I really like to do this because when I go in and I back comb the hair, I'm going to get a lot of lift and volume at the root. Drop any of this remaining hair, it's okay that that does not have um, the texture iron right here because we have enough padding underneath. I have my model just kind of turn her head a little bit to the right and then we're going to come in here and I'm going to slice each of these sections around her face and I'm going to bring the texture iron down about four fingers. In doing this, I'm giving volume right here and I'm not leaving a harsh divot line or a harsh line at all with the texture iron. So I'm coming in here with my Sanvia Artist Series 2-in-1. It's a Marcel and a wand. I love this for all styles because you can just take off this part. I'm gonna show you in a second. So I'm using it as a Marcel right now to create the curl. I'm gonna leave about an inch out of her ends. That's gonna give it that really organic boho feel. Then I'm gonna take this um, curl on the right side and we're just going to start in the middle and work our way up. I really like to get a lot of lift at her root here. We've already built in a lot of lift with the texture iron, so this will be just a nice added element with the iron to create that lift. If you want an even more boho feel, you can take your iron and just clamp down and you can make those ends a little bit flatter. You can also do this using your sleeker iron as well. So coming over on the left side, I'm gonna just create another boho wave. Again, you can see how much I left out here on the ends. Uh, I'm gonna go through and we're gonna brush out these curls afterwards. So it's going to be very much like, you know, it looks like she did it, but she had a professional do it. So this is why I love my wand because this detaches here. It says detach. There's also different temperature settings, which Sam V is like known for. He does that with all of his products and it's incredible. So you can just press here on this detach button and then you just pull up and voila, that removes that Marcel clamp part. So I really like that because it eliminates having extra tools in my kit as well. I can just have one iron that does two things and it's honestly a huge space saver and just like a lightsaber, honestly, that's the best. Coming in here on the right and I'm just taking all this hair, alternating this curl and I'm bringing it towards the center. So I'm gonna take probably about three different sections here from the right and we're gonna pull it to the center. And we're taking this hair and curling it away from the face. Leaving about one inch out at the ends. This style is highly requested. And if you look over here at the icon, you can see the picture from my bridal hair menu and it's, it was done on my beautiful bride, Harley. And she, she really loved it. She loved to have like that more organic feel so that she could live in it all day and not have to worry about it getting messed up and just kind of being able to dance and relax. Up here at the crown area, if you want a lot of volume, even more volume than what you're already gonna get with the texture iron and the combing, you can bring your curl on base so what I like about this wand is I can get it extremely close to the root. 
and we're just lifting that hair on top of the head so we're on base here. I'll show you from the side so you can see what that looks like. So this hair is sitting on top right here. Now we're gonna let that curl out and you can see how much dimension I got just from having that curl right here on top and how much volume I got with that curl. Another tip that I love um, when I'm using, when I'm doing a boho style, is you can take the section, split it into two, then I like to use my sleeker iron. So I come in here and I'll start at the scalp, at the root, and then we're just gonna take that hair and work our way down, creating a boho wave. And you can see, sometimes I like to do this because this adds more tension to the hair too. So if her hair tends to fall in her face faster than it would in the back because she has finer hair on this side, it's nice to use the flat iron um, to give that tension and hold that curl just a little bit more than what she might normally have with a wand. Here with your tail comb, and I like to use my Sambia tail comb because it's just the right amount of point here. So I'm gonna come in and just zigzag a little bit so that part's not super clean. You can see how that hair is gonna lay very organic here. So we're gonna come in and we're just, gonna, we've already created the part on her finer side. Come in here, we're at the top of her crown and we're just gonna back comb what we've already built in with our texture iron here. Coming in at her crown area, we've already created all of our pretty back combing. We're just going to create a little topsy tail and we're focusing on the center of her head, the lower back and center of her head. The whole point of this is to make it look very effortless. So we're gonna make sure we use that elastic and just do a little topsy tail. You're gonna take the hair and flip it from this ponytail, flip it inside, create a twist. And then I love to just like pinch and pull everything apart and make it very loose and with a lot of ridges and pretty high at her crown. How pretty does this topsy tail look? So this is just the foundation of our hairstyle. So now we're gonna come in again with the sides and how I parted her out previously. We're just taking that zigzag section and then we're gonna just take our fingers and twist that hair. And you can come in here and pinch and pull at the top of the hairstyle. Creating that really pretty flowing twist. And then we're gonna take that and wrap it around the topsy tail that we've already created. And once you get to the left side, you can just take your pen and stick it directly into all of the padding that you've just created using your texture iron. I'm gonna come in here and do the same exact thing on this side. Even though this is where she parts and there's a little bit more hair, we're gonna come in here just back home a little bit at her root and then we'll Part it with a zigzag part. Again, you don't want to do your part obviously too harsh. If you were to do a straight line, it would be too much. And if you were to do a really blunt zigzag line, it's going to be too much as well. So we're just taking this hair and you can see how organic that is as I'm just pinching and pulling and making everything look really balanced around the topsy tail. A great style to recommend with somebody that has darker hair as well because this is going to show a lot more dimension in their hair than something that's sleeker. So coming in here after we've twisted that side from the left side and we just brought it over to the right side over that topsy tail I'm just taking my pen and crisscrossing those pens underneath and creating a really loose half up, half down, boho style. Spray, you can just kind of run your fingers through there and create that really pretty wave. 
can only do this because we've let all the curls cool so they're easily manageable. And you can see how that looks just having her kind of turn her head. You can see how that flow. And I personally love it. I'm a big fan. I hope you love it too. I'm gonna show you what to do if you have a little bit too much volume, like right in here, I pinched and pulled a little too hard. So you can just take your pen, have it closed and just press down in on that style. And then that will just be a little bit smoother. Right. So it's a lot of volume and then they can just kind of pick and choose how they want to wear their hair if they want it more in the front or more in the back. You can see how pretty that lift is with all the volume spray and all the curls. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you guys learned something new. I hope you loved this segment from CMVA. They are, they have some of the best educators and I'm so honored to be a part of this YouTube series. Thank you so much for watching and come back next time.